Mr. How you doing? How's your grades? It's definitely good. Pretty good. So throughout all the pressure, you've been able to maintain a high grade point average. You've yes. been doing pretty well. You think you're going to college or something? Yeah. You want to want to be an engineer? No, I'm not sure though right now. Not sure. But you've been doing pretty good. So the yeah. pressure really hasn't. It's gotten to you, but it's gotten. To, has it affected your grades? No. So you've been you've been focused. But yeah. can you say the same for all of you? No. So you probably one out of maybe ten that has been able to maintain perhaps yeah. on the average out of soon. So okay, if there's something that you wanted to say to the mayor, what would it be? And you know the mayor pretty much calls the shots. He pretty much okay's what what's going on, you know. He may he may hide his hand, you know, but there's another hand that's basically pushing the bus buttons of the police commissioner that calls the shots. So he's the head honcho, you know what I'm saying? on the public view. What would you, in the public eye view, he's the head man, what would you say to him? Now you said something to the chief of police. Now we're going to bring it to another level. What would you say to the mayor? As a youth fire, here in Edgewood. Fire, the, fire the, um, the commission, fire the commission. Fire the commission. Yeah. Alright, but if the, ch if, the, if, the, if the charges that we have against the commissioner are a direct result of the mayor's actions, what would you say to him? You're going to have to, like, you're going to have to Something's gonna have to happen. Something, something's gonna have to happen in office okay. to, in order to get this, these changes. Okay. Do you feel that the system has failed us? No. It, it I mean, the system. When I say the system, I mean, do you do you feel that the system that we're governed under? Do you feel that it has failed you and us, or do you think yeah, that it's done it's, good? It's haven't been good in the past what eight years? Eight, eight, eight years. Is if things falling, just things falling apart. How do you feel about the renovation of the projects here? You know, the the changing of management. How long you been here for a year? You said. Yeah. So you probably haven't experienced. You came in while it was being renovated. Yeah. All right. So you probably can't really go too far in it. But ha have you experienced anything negative with with regards to the new complex, the new growth as far as the um the construction? No. Have you experienced anything? Any health issues? <laughs> anything like that? No, no, no. Are you? Uh, I hear some residents are saying that they're getting more roaches in their houses and things like that. Are no, you experiencing we, anything no, like we that? We just get them in the hallway. You get more roaches in the hallway. Yeah. All right. How do you feel about the process of this um construction project? Is it moving fast or it's moving slow? Too slow. Too slow. So you don't see much progress at all. All right. We're gonna get back to you. All right. Back to now. We're gonna get to you. How do you feel about your neighborhood? Like it's all right, but then like it's certain types, certain trades to it. Like it's not all that good, but it's okay so far. You gotta speak up a little bit. I don't want the stat to be louder than you. You gotta speak up. But like certain trading types, like things inside, it's things inside of that I probably don't like. But certain things, man, it's a high neighborhood. But everything, like when you were saying with the construction and all that, mm -hmm. it is moving mad slow. Like I see other projects, like they look better than this project. Like and it's doing, like, man, it's taken mm -hmm. down and split into pieces and like all this and all that. Mm -hmm. For a long time, and I ain't seen nothing get done. It's still, still look the same. For is it depressing to yeah. come home and see it like that? Yeah, like front all torn and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, like how 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 is it affecting? What what's the word on the street about what's happening? As far as you concerned, I mean, is it is it is it a topic that the youth are, 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 are enraged about, or or is it just? People are looking the other way, or is this something that you discuss amongst your your um your com comrades? Shit, from time to time, but from time to time, but like it's like ain't nothing ain't done. Like it's the same thing. So do you feel that a change can come about? Is there something that is being that are you doing anything to um or do you know of any youth that are or maybe like coming together to like? bring their voices together to shout out about this or is, do you feel that this, that they may feel that there's no hope there's no hope for this you know, feel like that basically it's like it's out of your hands and it's just going to be what it is yeah, basically, basically. Okay. Can, can I just help you rephrase sure, sure. Sure. Like, how, how do you feel on the whole about the condition of our people out here in the, in the community of Far Rockaway let alone Edgemere where you live as far as yeah. The bad condition of what's going on with the youth and everything and the whole nine. Like that's the broader 
perspective, but the whole area. Like when you think about your people and what's yeah. going on, what comes to your mind? Like, you know, like, yeah. I don't know. You, you you basically don't see a future. Yeah. Right. Right. So with that being the case, what do you think you need to do? What do you think we need to do? Figure out a way to make things better. Or not better us or something. Mm-hmm. Make a difference from what it is right now. It's like it ain't really nothing right now. You, what school do you go to? You go to 198? Uh, John Adams. John Adams. Does it ever come up? The, the, the problems of our people, does that issue ever come up coming from your teachers? or Do you ever get any type of black history or any type of uh, inspiration when you go to school with regards to lifting the spirit up of our people? If you could say something to the heads of your school with regards to that, you know, do you, what would you say to the principal, per se, or the heads of the boards at Board of Education? As far as, you know, I mean, we have a serious situation here. Our youth are not energized. We see no hope. They're supposed to be the school system, the institution that, 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 that inspires the youth to create a future for our nation. All right? You see that not happening. So what would you say to them? If you had a chance to speak to them directly, what would you say? Like they gotta put more effort into things and like try harder, basically. Do you think they're trying at all? See, that's what I'm talking about. If they're not even trying, yeah, they're trying. But how do you think they're trying? See, when there's no programs and there's nothing there for you, and they have six hundred million dollars to put into this area to just build stuff. They ain't trying. So when I'm asking you to say something to them, I want you to speak straight words. Because they got money. And they not doing nothing about it. They're basically they're sitting on it. Exactly. So if they're sitting on it and they don't care, what would you say to them? Because that's the situation. They basically don't care. So they basically not doing nothing about the situation that's going on. Or maybe come back to that. Think a little bit on that. On what would you say to them? How about the police situation? How's it? How how's the relationship between the police and the youth affect you directly? Have you experienced any violence or with the police department? Anything that against you? Besides, of course, we did talk about the fact that you were locked down recently and you went through the system just for hanging out. You know, how did that affect you? How did you feel about that? Not good, cause like that's that's something like you can't hang out in your own project. Like you live at, like how you can't live at? Can't even be out here just to yeah, play like, a you game. You can't even sit in front of the building. What Maybe. about Bayswater Park? Can you go there? I mean, not Bayswater, um, the back park. Can you go to the back park and hang out? The same thing that happened there if you was outside. Yeah, probably. And this man with mosquitoes and stuff like that. Yeah, you wouldn't really play out there. Yeah, that was like no <laughs> man's man. <laughs> well, man. So is there anything else that you'd like to add? You know. Like, I mean, with regards to, you know, our situation here at Edgemere, anything that you, you feel that is important, that needs to be known? The way the police harass people, like, the harassment is That's the main crazy. Issue. Yeah. Psychologically, how does that affect you? Yeah. How does how, it make you feel? How does it make you feel? When they harass you, like you can't, make you feel like you, like you ain't even, worth nothing. Like you can't even walk around over there. Mm-hmm. You better off staying in the house over there. You feel like you trapped. Yeah, basically. Like, and you, you locked go, down. You go. 